I hope that you miss me because I miss you so much. So yes, Sandy and I, we bought a home as you might have seen on Instagram. We are very excited about this because this is our first home and I want to share with you just a tour and I also want to tell you about some tips that are going to be very beneficial if you are trying to buy a home, things that are going to save you a lot of money. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. Sandy and I, we have been looking for a home for a while because where we lived before, it was very small and we needed something that was more spacious. And we looked at so many properties and right now the market is a little high. So we wanted to buy something that worked for us and something that worked for us, but I mean like long term. So we came across this property and we completely fell in love with it. It's humongous. It has so much space and I'm really excited about the kitchen because it is just so spacious. So this kitchen, we are doing it in a way that is going to save us money. For example, instead of changing the cabinets, we just change the handles and we painted them. The same thing for the island and the entire counter. We painted over it so there is a system, not a system, but there is something that's available that is going to save you a lot of money and it's basically just painting and then glazing the actual island. And we found someone who did this. It is in the thousands, but we were being charged an insanely amount of money had we chosen to just remodel the entire kitchen, like remove everything and install it brand new. The only thing with this paint is that it is sensitive and you do have to be more cautious than if it was just like a regular counter. But for the most part, the price difference is very significant. I'm talking about, I was being charged probably 16,000 to redo the kitchen and I ended up paying like a little bit close to two grand for the entire island and the counters. So for me, that was something that made a lot of sense. Also, I am very excited about my studio because as a content creator, I have so many ideas and I wasn't able to do all of them because I'm very picky with my work and I want for it to look as nice as possible. And where I was, I really didn't have a lot of space for lights. It was just very, I don't know, tiny and I really couldn't do much. So when I was looking for a home, that was something that was very important to me, it was just a room where I can just put my stuff and just have enough space. And this room is actually very spacious. As time progresses, you guys are going to see how that room is really going to grow. Initially, I wanted to turn it into a closet. So if you're thinking of doing that to a room in your house, that would be a great idea. But for me, it made more sense just to have it as a studio because I can do a lot more things. Also, it does come with this huge walk-in closet that already had like a system installed. So I'm able to hang my clothes. I'm going to add a shoe organizer at the very bottom. That's something very fun. I also want to do a closet organization video, but that's coming up. Also, the master bedroom is absolutely stunning. It has a huge hallway. It has its own bathroom. Sandy's going to have his own shoe closet because believe it or not, the guy has more shoes than I do. So he's gonna have a shoe closet and then he has his own personal closet. One of the things that I love most about this property is that we don't have a fourth wall in most of the rooms. So most of the rooms are just three walls and then it's just huge ceiling to floor windows that you can slide open. And that is incredible because for content creation, I do have professional lights, but I've always been a fan of natural light. I think natural light is the most beautiful light you can get because it bounces everywhere. Like right now, this right here, this is the window that I'm telling you guys about. We do have to get blinds that they are coming in because um, they're going to get here in August. So I'm excited about those because right now we don't have anything. I do have a huge terrace and I really enjoy that because I love to get fresh air. I can put little tables outside or just a patio set and it's going to just be a very welcoming and calming, I don't know, little place for people to have conversations. 
Now I really want to get into more detail about things that are going to save you a lot of money. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to get a good realtor. There are many realtors out there and they do an amazing job, but our realtor negotiated the price for us. He went above and beyond. We came across so many issues because we really wanted this property. And then Edwin, if you're watching, you're the man. <laughs> Whenever we had a problem, he knew the business like the back of his hand. He was able to come to us with like five solutions. Like here's a problem and these are five ways that we can solve it. And it was like that for everything. Also, we had a legal team and a legal team is very important. That is also extra, but it is going to save you so many headaches. Edwin had the legal team under the same umbrella. So for us, that was a huge plus and I highly recommend for you guys. I'm going to be linking his information down in the info box. So next, something else that would have saved me, I'm talking about thousands of dollars, is whenever there's a holiday sale at Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those big stores, take advantage of those prices because we had to put brand new appliances here. We got a new fridge, a range, a dishwasher, a washer, a dryer. So we changed everything and we had to pay full price, which sucks. Like my dryer is ventless and I had to pay full price for it. Had I taken advantage of a holiday sale, then I would have saved a lot of money because sometimes they have bundles that you can take advantage of. So that is something most definitely that you can keep in mind. And okay, maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm not gonna close the deal now, or I'm not gonna move until like later on in the year. Take advantage of it and pay for a storage because most likely what you'll be paying for the storage when you add everything up is going to be a lot less than had you paid for everything in full. And most of the times they don't have bundle deals going on. So I wish I, wished I would have known that ahead of time. Also, something that is going to save you a lot of money is paintings. We painted this whole place ourselves and we went to Home Depot, we chose Bear is the name of the brand that we chose and we chose this white semi-matte formula and we painted the entire walls ourselves. I was a little bit skeptical about it because I thought that it was going to look streaky had I done it, but paints nowadays are made with a primer and so many other um, ingredients that are incorporated and then that mix glides on very easy and evenly throughout your walls. So most of the stuff we got, we got it at Home Depot, we got it at Lowe's and we got it at Amazon. We always compared prices because almost everything we've redone ourselves. Like we still have to put up closet doors, we have to change the doors, the locks, so there's a lot of things that we have to do and thankfully Sandy is a very good handyman and he's been able to do a lot of that work. I really didn't want to leave YouTube like for a little bit over a week, but the thing is I had content scheduled the same for Instagram, but I wanted for everything to be cohesive and really mirror what you were seeing on Instagram. Also a huge thank you to everyone who congratulated us. We couldn't be happier about this and yeah you can expect me to get back to my regular schedule i will be posting twice on instagram and twice on youtube i have so many exciting videos that i'm working on so yeah i am very grateful thank you so much for your time and i will see you next time bye